Hi friends! This week I'm going to be reading to you from my house. Um, I'm going to read a story today that is called Nugget and Fang. It says, friends forever or snack time. So what do you guys think? Think they're going to be friends forever? Or will he be the shark's snack? In the deep, deep ocean lived two best friends, Nugget and Fang. They did everything together. They swam over, glug. They swam under, glug, glug. They swam all around, glug, glug, glug. Life was close to perfect. Until it was time for Nugget to go to school. Welcome to a brand new year. Fang looks sad, doesn't he? There goes Nugget. Can you see Nugget? On Monday, Nugget was busy with reading. Today's story is about three little minnows and a big bad shark. A big bad shark? Ha! said Nugget. Impossible. Nugget was busy with math. One plus one is two, and two plus two is four. But what if there were 10 minnows and a shark came along and ate four of them? How many minnows would there be left? Is this a trick question? A shark would never do that, said Nugget. And Nugget was busy with science. Sharks are scary. Here's the proof. Oh, look at it. It's a shark. He's eating all the little fishes. The stuff on that poster is not true, said Nugget. My best friend is a shark. You have lost your gills. Sharks are and minnows cannot be friends. Hello? Sharks eat minnows. Nugget was shocked and apparently delicious. That afternoon, Nugget explained to all, to all of it. Nugget explained it all to Fang. Sharks are toothy. Sharks are scary. Sharks and minnows can't be friends. Sounds fishy to me, said Fang. It's true. See, said Nugget, and he held up his test. Then he swam far, far away. Fang's heart sank. There was nothing that he could do about being toothy, but he needed his very best buddy back and he had to prove that he wasn't scary. On Tuesday, Minnie Minnows had a surprise visitor, a very big surprise visitor. The visitor gave Nugget his friendliest smile. Shark, swim for your lives. Oh my, LG, said Nugget. It's Fang. Look at Fang. What's he dressed up as? A mermaid, right? On Wednesday, Fang tried a different approach. Dear Nugget, I'd love to have you over for dinner. Sincerely, Fang. <gasps> he wants to eat you for dinner. Holy mackerel, said Nugget. On Thursday, Fang tried everything that he could think of. A tattoo, a special delivery that said you are fantastic, a song and a dance, but nothing worked. On Friday, Fang was out of ideas. All alone, he swam over, blub. He swam under, blub, blub. He swam all around. Blub, blub, womp. Life was not even perfect. <coughs> Fang was so busy boohooing that he didn't even notice a net drop. Down, down, down. Right on the mini minnows. I feel seasick. We're, we're the catch of the day? Oh no!
the net pulled. Up, up, up. <gasps> Somebody help! Fang squinted. Nugget? He had to do something. But what? Fang fanned his gills. He wrung his fins and then... Ping! Fang had a plan. Fang's big sharp teeth chomped. Fang's big sharp teeth chewed. Fang saved all of the mini minnows. All of the minnows stared. I know, I know, said Fang. I am toothy. I am too scary. Too shark. Wait, they yelled. Nugget swam towards Fang. There were ten minnows, he said, and a very special shark came along. How many friends are there all together? There was only one answer. In the deep, deep ocean lived 11 friends. They swam over, glug. They swam under, glug, glug. They swam all around, glug, glug, glug. And everyone was all smiles, especially you know who. Fangs food chain. So this is Finn. He drew his food chain and he is eating vegetables. Should all of the other little minnows been so scared of him just by the way he looked? He wanted to be their friend, right? Yes. So never judge a book by its cover or a friend by their looks. That was a good lesson to the story. Bye guys.